All right. Hey, this is Dad Random. And I have got something a little bit new. It's been a while since I've done a dash cam uh, video. But um, this is a new dash cam that I just picked up. Uh, this is the Surfola 4K uh, dash cam. Uh, it has 170 degree field of view. Um, it has card support. I got a 128. I think it goes to 256. And if you see right here, I'll turn it on real quick for you. Pretty, pretty quick, pretty good rapid start. Instant record. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off real quick. But a very active touchscreen uh, with the complete menu system. So as you can see, very simple uh, setup menu, camera settings. There's some system, uh, you know, auto power uh, screen savers and different things like that. Beep sounds, boot sound, like for example, a boot sounds a little annoying, but it's nice to know that it's turning on, um, especially when you're driving. Uh, language settings, but uh, very good. It, the touchscreen works really good. And that's one thing that I'm really, I think that they, they did really well. A um, couple of other things that this thing uh, basically has in its favor. It's very, it's solid. Um, it's, you know, it's very sturdy built. Um, it's, it's a little bit, a little bit difficult to, uh, to set up. At least I, I, at least I thought it was a little, there was a, there was a learning curve. But once you kind of get through the menus, I think it's just like anything else. You can change it from 4K to 2K, uh, 1080, 60 to 720. To, uh, I, I prefer 2K. I don't know where you basically get uh, an advantage within with 4K with this. Um, but pretty simple. There's your image size, a 20 megapixel image. Um, Motion detection, of course, you have that, and you have that option. But all these are option. I've got the G sensor on low. Uh, let me get the loop recording. Um, let me go ahead and put that on five minutes. So every five minutes, it's going to loop. Um, and the one thing that I um, that I like when you're using a camera like this is that it constantly um, will um, it'll constantly overwrite, so you can just leave it running and not have to worry too much about it. Um, I usually keep the resolution down at 2K because that gives you double the amount of space, but I would recommend you putting a large card in here. Um, here's your audio, an audio setting, and there you go. You can record audio on. I don't know if you really need to. You could probably save some space by not recording your audio, but we'll go back and put it on. But so pretty easy. Uh, let's see image resolutions. So uh, you can really ch drop that down. I wouldn't do that. I would keep it at at the highest, uh, this highest setting. But there it is right there. There is the uh, Surfola. And this is a 4K edition, uh, pretty new. All right, um, so without further ado, um, let's look at some, there's some, so there's your photo setting right there, bang, and you can go ahead and take a photo. Um, the other thing that I wanted to uh, share with you is the Wi-Fi connectivity. It says Wi-Fi is on. Let's double check and see if it's connected to my phone. Uh, that's one thing I've been fighting a little bit about. It does work. Um, and you can pull um, video right from that, which is very handy. Let me go ahead and find the app really quick. And there's the app right there, Lucky Cam. Not a uh, basically you can you can have full. Let's see, open the run capacitors for electric motors. Uh, that's a that's an advertisement. Um, let's see here. Sometimes it takes a, bit, a a minute to find your files. You know where you're hooked up when you've got your files connected. And I think I didn't. I think what I didn't do is hold on. It takes me a second. One thing you want to do is you want to turn on your Wi-Fi on your phone. Find it. Let's see if I can find it for you really quick. There it is. That should do it. There, now it's connected. So I'm gonna go back to the app. Sometimes you have to relaunch the app. Let's hit file and see if she's pulling off file. Here, we're gonna go ahead. We have, it says controlling via the app. So we know that it's working because it says that. 
and we to let's see we can go ahead you want to stop the recording no if it's controlling me in the app i'm not gonna be able to do that we'll go here there we go so now we're uh, running it really we want to stop that okay so now we're running it there we go um you want to check your videos there you go there's the videos i just took today um so pretty nice that's i think very handy um, you just have to get used to it it's got a it's got a learning curve Okay, the last thing I want to show you about the uh, Surfola 4K, I'll go ahead and do a quick shutdown. Well, the last things I want to show you is, well, we're going to see some video in a second, but uh, USB-C connections. One is for the rear camera. This is a two-camera system. Um, I prefer three-camera systems where you basically have, go ahead and shut that down. There we go. We turn the sound off. And the, and the power, so both it powers up with USB-C and it basically uh, will, uh, uh, you can extend the camera with USB-C. Um, I thought it adjusted really well. You'll see a little bit of glare in some of my footage. I'm gonna go ahead and put that down. Um, so let's check that out. Let's look at some footage. And here are some of the different uh, footages that I have for you. Go ahead and there's some day daytime footage. And this is playing right off my computer. Go ahead and get it as big as I can. But this is full resolution. Now, the one thing I am noticing, you can see, you can see the glare of my dashboard. Um, but you can clearly make out, um, in, uh, as far as uh, as far as you know, being able to identify things. Um, I don't know if you're better off being at 1080. 60 with a faster frame rate because that tends to to uh, keep things from blurring when you're looking for uh, I uh, image image uh, specifics but it's pretty good um, you can see that we're, we're not getting a lot of uh, vibration so it's taking that vibration out I'd have had vibrations in cameras before so that's not bad at all and there's some rear now you can see that there is a little bit of a, now this is mounted in a truck, so I don't have the ability to adjust that camera up anymore, but that seems, it seems better than I thought. You can see my GPS data down here, tells you my speed and my, uh, uh, and the, my location. I really like the GPS uh, function. Every one of these should have a GPS and app functions, so not bad. Right now, uh, image quality, I'm, I'm, I'm just putting it average. I've had better image quality, um, but this is average image quality. Now, this is some security camera footage uh, sitting in uh, basically in a parking lot, and this is where you definitely want to run your cameras. That's why I like the interior camera. So you've got the third camera. It basically will see inside of your vehicle, and if anybody goes inside of it, that's why I like the three camera, but for a truck, it's perfect. It's, this is great um, for picking up uh, travel footage. There's the rear of my truck right there. You see I'm at a hardware store there. Um, here's some evening footage. Now you can see where this is twilight. And you can see the uh, image ability there. And, and like, see, see if you can make out the, uh, the license plate of, or that student driver that's next to me right there. See that, uh, you can tell that that's a student driver vehicle. Move my head right there. And you can make out the license plate, can't you? Go ahead and stop right there. Yeah, you can. Let's move forward here. There's the rear. There's somebody following me. I can also uh, freeze frame and make out that license plate if I need to. This is where you'd shoot, a, you'd shoot an image. Look at that guy, he's all over the place. This is why you wanna, this is why you wanna have a dash camera right there. I guess if you just want to watch people, you could also do that as well. Pretty cool. More daylight footage. We're going to get in some evening footage here real quick. Um, more rear footage. There we go. Now we're into the, or this is really early morning, but it's uh, like twilight. This is pretty much what, um, you can see that I've got a lot of, of uh, I've got a lot of graininess. Um, this camera boasts, um, um, night super night vision um but i you know i'm thinking it's pretty much average it's not this this i'm not i'm not having any this is definitely coming from the camera and and most cameras with small image sensors will do this so 
it will grain things up, but it's pretty detailed. I don't know if you could read a license plate. Um, see, there's a license plate going by and you can see the glare on it. Uh, very difficult. Let's go back. Let's look behind me. And um, very difficult to, to make out anything but just image, you know, just real rough images. And that's it. pretty much any camera with a small image sensor size is going to have the same issue. Now, you can read out the words on this sign right here. You can read out things of that size. But anything smaller, you can go back to the front facing camera. And we can skip through there. We've got, uh, you know, let's go. This is my patented, there we go, drive through picture right there. Um, we'll go into uh, going into the uh, Dutch Brothers. I really like Dutch Brothers. And uh, there it is right there. I like that blue sign. All right, so but you can read it pretty good. It's decent. Yeah, typical night. Uh, this is where another place where you might get into uh, uh, an issue, an accident. And there's the rear version of that same footage right there. People behind you. And as you're coming out, um, not bad. Not bad at all. So there it is. Um, once again, this is the Surfola 4K uh, dash cam. Um, not my favorite, but pretty dang good. I, I love, like I said, a couple of pluses, app support, um, the fact that it does have a uh, uh, the ability to pick up decent night footage, decent night footage. I wouldn't say it's perfect. I've gotten better night footage, um, but decent. So we could stop it right there, and you can see now it's 1080 in the rear, um, and you've got 4K uh, basically leading uh, leading the front of the. So there it is. Let's go back to the front footage right there. We'll go back, but there it is. Now this is the 4K camera right here. And uh, like every camera will struggle in the in the uh, in the low light hours, but you can see clearly signs. You can see people. Um, you'll be able to make out. Uh, uh, and once again, you'll get car security, GPS. Um, like I said, a very a very well. Um, go back to my. A very uh, capable touchscreen. Let me call, let's see if I can get you a little bit. Uh, get you a little closer here. Um, there we go. So there's a little a real capable touchscreen. Let's get it running again. Very quick on and off. I it's uh, let's see if it goes right to it says no connection. Now it's uh, so it's not connected to my phone, but it's it automatically runs. I like that. Remember when you run the menu, you want to oh. Uh, not saying that it is. Let's see if I let's see if it connected again. No connection. Usually we can tell yeah, it's not connected. So what you have to do to solve that problem is just quickly go to your settings, go to your act your uh, Wi-Fi, find the device, and you should, it says controlling via app low battery. That's normal. She's shutting down. That's okay. But it only gets so much. You only get so much. These have uh, uh, batteries. Uh, lithium. I think they have lithium ion batteries. To uh, or well, super capacitors actually. And I don't even think they have ion batteries uh, because of the heat. So you need something that can take care of being in a very hot environment because these things get very hot. All right there we go. Dad, random. Um, the Surfola. Here we go. 4K. The Surfola 4K. Dash cam, very good. Uh, we're at one hundred thirty-nine dollars right now. Um, pretty good deal. This is this is this is the this is what you want for a hundred over just over a hundred bucks. Uh, if you're a trucker, if you're uh, just wanting car security, if you just you know uh, this one comes with. Uh, you can look at all the check out the the uh, the, uh, the slideshow that's playing next year right over there and shows you everything that it comes with. So check out that, oops, that slideshow right behind me right there. And that will, as it cycles through, uh, you can rewatch the video. And it gives you the main features of this camera. All right, for Dad Random and Surfola. There we go. Later.